My name is Jim Cox and I'm the vertebrate ecologist here at Tall Timbers Research Station. We focus on birds uh, heavily because there are, they're the most diverse group in these pine woods of the southeast. Um, about 100 species plus that occupy these areas. And each of those birds has a specific area in the forest that it finds uh, conditions suitable. So you're looking at a big you know, jigsaw puzzle that has 100 components. And if something in the forest is out of balance, one or two of those components is going to be missing. So the birds, unlike mammals and some other things, provide a much finer uh, uh, a tuned look at the forest here in the region. Our program looks at three different issues primarily. The first being um, how fire influences the habitat of various songbirds and woodpeckers in the region. Second, we use species like the endangered red cockaded woodpecker to help guide management on some of the properties that we have here in the Red Hills. And third, we also just ask basic uh, uh, important questions about biology of some of these organisms that are here. Bingo! The history of bird research at Tall Timbers goes back to the very foundations of the institution. Uh, Herbert Stoddard, who was the, one of the, probably the key figure in getting this place established, considered himself to be a birder, uh, an ornithologist. He did great game bird work, but he also worked with songbirds and woodpeckers and was very well-rounded well in all aspects of uh, bird research. Focus on right now, we have a, a, a lot of work on three different species. Uh, the red cockaded woodpecker, an endangered species, Backman sparrow, which is a small ground dwelling sparrow, and then uh, brown headed nuthatch, which is a small songbird that um, excavates uh, its living quarters each, each year. The reason I focus on those, if you look around the southeast, those three species, the uh, red cockaded is listed as endangered already. The nuthatch and sparrows both have been going downhill, and so there's a lot of interest throughout the southeast in how do we manage better for, for, that, for that suite of species. Now, our information is useful to land managers of public lands to help guide what they're doing on their properties and to maintain uh, biodiversity on public lands. We also work real closely with landowners here in the Red Hills to um, manage their areas for, for red cockaded woodpeckers. We have a, a, a good number of landowners that really like to have that species on their properties and we help to uh, um, guide their management of, of that for that species. We've got this jigsaw puzzle of 100 different components or so. Uh, the sparrows, they're focused on the ground cover. Uh, you have to burn sites about once every two years to maintain good conditions for that sparrow. Uh, the woodpecker requires the old mature trees, uh, 90 plus years old, so you have to have those in place. The brown-headed nuthatch likes to have these dead snags, dead trees in the last stages of decay, another thing that naturally would be in the forest because of uh, tree mortality. But by looking at each species, you can sort of figure out how these point, uh, components are, whether they're present or not. And if they're absent, you can sort of make recommendations for what uh, a landowner or a public lands manager can do to help uh, improve the situation for those animals. <laughs> Excellent work.